Good morning everybody. Today is the second day of New York's 2022 turkey youth season. Um, we are, we did get permission to come back to the same spot again so um, he's got some family coming in around I think he said nine so we told him we'd be done by nine if we want to continue on and go somewhere else we can. Um, I got a bunch of spots and you know whatever but anyways regardless we're here it's uh, pretty warm this morning I was 58 when I left the house uh, it's 515 now uh, my uncle and my cousin should be here any minute um, so hopefully these birds that were here yesterday are still here uh, there was five birds here yesterday and uh, I'm not really sure what happened with my camera. It froze up on me uh, at the worst possible time. It's never done that ever before. I've never, it's the only issue I've ever had with this camera. And I just happened to do it when the turkeys were 35 yards away and starting to commit to the decoys. So, regardless, hopefully that doesn't happen today. My uncle's here right now. So, um,. We're going to get dressed, we're going to head back here and uh, see what we can get into today. Hopefully they're uh, all still here. I think we're going to change up how we go in. We might come in from and go on the south side uh, and then come in from the south side. There's a big trail we can take that'll take us around to get around the bird. So we'll see what happens, but I'll see you guys in the woods. set up ready to go.
had you just seen? The bird that was over to our right ended up coming in. I got some pretty good video of them. I guess from what they're telling me, they had too much stuff in the way. They couldn't shoot. And uh, when it did have an opening, they couldn't get the gun around the tree, so... Uh, I'm not really sure what the heck happened. I'm sitting, you know, 20 yards behind them or whatever. But, either way, the bird went all the way up and around us. And now we went back towards the south. And he met up with that other bird that was gobbling. But now they're slowly, slowly making their way back this way. These guys weren't sure what we should do. And my, my biggest rule, we're dealing with property lines is what, this is why we can't go after these birds. We don't have permission on this next property over here, so we're sitting back up off of it, off the line. But I didn't want to leave birds that were gobbling to try to go find birds that were gobbling. Just for the simple fact of these birds are still going and they're hitting it hard. So it's only set 10 after seven right now and they are definitely getting closer. So, um, you know, we'll just have to see what happens here, but pretty eventful morning so far. I was waiting for that gun to go off. We'll see if we can't do it again here. Just wait, settle down, settle down. They're still right there. Alright, well, as you guys can see. Obviously we had another unfortunate miss. Um, we we're kind of just hanging out and uh, we heard, or I heard a bird fire up over here to our uh, west. And uh, I let out a few calls and he gobbled again. And uh, two jakes come right in. And uh, so they come to 30 yards. They're in full strut. And uh, I told Colden to give it a try um, just because they were 30 yards oh, almost ate it just because they were 30 yards and uh, you know that was we have to be leaving the landowner told us that uh, we got to be done by 9 o'clock today because he's got his grandkids coming so um, we are running out of time and uh, they said the gun was good at 30 so I let him try it at 30, and uh, looks like his pattern is just, might get him a different choke tube or something. Looks like his pattern's just blowing out, but regardless, another good morning, lots of goblin. Um, we're gonna head out here, and uh, I don't know if we're gonna go to a different spot, or we might just go try and uh, shoot his gun and see what the heck is going on here, so. Regardless, we're gonna head out of here and uh, because we're out of time. So, like I said, I don't know if we're gonna go shoot his gun or what, but if we do, maybe I'll take some video of it. But 
Hope you guys enjoyed this youth weekend. I know I always enjoy it. We got really, really close with that big long beard this morning. He had uh, quite the paintbrush on him. So that was really cool to see him coming in, strutting, spitting, drumming. That was really neat. We had some pretty dang good experiences for this uh, for this youth weekend. You know, Colton got to see a lot, got to experience a lot. So that's all you can ever ask for especially getting these kids out here so hopefully we will uh, get his gun figured out and when regular season comes in uh, Sunday you guys can uh, come up here and get it done because uh, I'll be hunting somewhere else Sunday and then uh, the first full weekend I'm going to do a turkey camp video so That'll be a lot of fun, but stay tuned for all that. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry we don't have a turkey to show for it, but it's all part of it. So we've all missed plenty of them. But we'll see you guys on the next one. And uh, thanks for watching. Please go down, hit that subscribe button. Helps me out. Help me get to that 1K mark.